Hi, this is Doug Evans, pre-sales specialist focusing on virtualization and hyper-converged technologies with Ed. Here today with a quick demonstration of some new functionality released on the Dell EMC VxRail platform. So you can see here I'm on a jump host, a Windows server. I have Google Chrome open. I'm going to mouse over this, this shortcut I'm going to click on and it'll see that it's VxRail Manager. So prior to 4.7.100, when you'd log into VxRail Manager, it'd be a separate interface and that's where you'd manage your VxRail functionality. Uh, with 4.7.100, most of that functionality has been ported over into the HTML5 client in vSphere 6.7. So you can scroll down here and see installed plugins. VxRail 4.7.100 has been installed. On the left here, we have an option to click on VxRail now, and this will bring us to our monitoring dashboard. Not a whole lot of information in here. It shows our system health, uh, shows that we don't have ESRS configured. It's a lab environment. Uh, we can click on links to open up chat to support, open an SR, stuff like that. These all are just shortcuts that will link you to support.emc. You can see on the bottom part of the screen there. And then on the right here, it's interactive. We have a knowledge base and VxRail community. And these are posts you can see, like these are recent posts. Six hours ago, someone posted one of VxRail appliance top services topics. And this is just handy to have these here in front of you whenever you're in this part of the GUI. We'll hop back to the main uh, screen here. Click on hosts and clusters, click on our cluster up here, and click on monitor, and we can scroll down here to vSAN, and we'll see we have health, virtual objects, the typical vSAN functionality, and then we'll scroll down here and we see vxrail, and this is where we can see appliances. Like I mentioned earlier, not everything is completely in uh, the HTML5 client yet, it's getting close. There's still some things that when you click on it in the GUI, it'll launch an external uh, tab or browser for you, but you don't have to log in. It's all SSO. And you can see here, here's our array, our four nodes, just the physical overview. Close this out. And then down here is just our last configuration data set. Let's click over to configure, and this is where things get interesting. We can go down to VxTrail. We can see our system. This is where you click to do an update in the future once you're already on 4.7.100. We can click here to go to update. We'll see that there's no new releases out at this time. This is the version we're on today. Close that out. Scroll down to marketplace. And this just opens up a market view. We have a button here to add VxTrail host now straight from the GUI, which is really handy. And another button for host overview and et cetera, et cetera. Just going down the, the list here. The other functionality I really wanted to highlight today was being able to remove a host from a cluster. This is something our customers have been looking forward to for quite some time. Gone are the days of having to open up a service request with Dell and work with professional services to help remove a node from an existing cluster that's running a production workload or something similar like that. So now all we need to do is place our host in maintenance mode. And when we do that, we need to make sure that we have vSAN data migration set to full data migration. So we will do that. You can see here there's a checkbox. It'll say, hey, this much data is going to be moved. We would hit OK. We're not going to do it today because this is just a short demo real quickly. But what will happen then is we'll go down, VxTrail Manager, remove a host, fill in our credentials, verify our credentials, hit Apply. And VxTrail will go ahead and evacuate out the data. Well, vSAN should, I should say. And then this node will get removed from the cluster. This you know, obviously would come in handy when you're trying to, say, add new nodes to a cluster and you want to remove out some older nodes, or you're just rebalancing some clusters and workloads and breaking up a cluster into smaller clusters, et cetera, et cetera. And with that, that wraps up this quick demo. I'll hop back to our PowerPoint slide here. Thanks again for your time today. I hope you found this demonstration of new features useful. If you have any comments or other VxTrail demonstrations you'd like to see, or if you'd like to learn more, please contact us and we can have a more thorough discussion. Thank you.